have argued that um, to mix a children's piece of legislation with a, with a predominantly adult piece of legislation would actually cause confusion. Um, and part of the, 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 the real leverage for all of this is that the Law Commission identified that certainly for adult social care there'd been um, no real change in legislation since, since 1948. Um, so that's drawing under one roof all of the, 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 the legislative processes of the last um, 40 or so years. Um, so for children's services, there, there, there is no change. So, so I, I would hope, um, it may be for others to comment, but I would hope that actually it is no less confusing now uh, that, 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 than, than, it, than it would be in the proposals. Um, so if there's some refinements that need to be made as part of the Department of Education as, the, as they look at the, the refinements of, of any um, children's legislation, then I would hope that that would dovetail with, with what the Department of Health are proposing with regard to, uh, to carers in, in, in this particular care and support bill. Um, but I mean, if, 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 if it, sorry, sorry, sorry Joe, no, carry on. It would, it, would to, it would appear to me that, 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 there's, that, that, that the strength that we have here in terms of carers' recognition is that uh, that's something for the Department of Education now to consider more fully uh, for, for, for children's legislation as well. So if you were to discover, um, uh, uh, obviously I appreciate it's a hypothetical question, if you were to discover that young carers effectively were left out in the cold, if that view particularly holds at the end of the day, how would you feel about that? Well, I, would, I, I mean, I, I would certainly hope that the, that the legislation and the guidance uh, doesn't do that. Um, I'm not aware that it does it now, um, so I don't see how things, how, how that is materially changed uh, by, by this particular piece of legislation that's coming in for adult carers. Um, if, 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 if the guidance is through the Children Act needs to be fine-tuned, then I, sus I suspect that's where, that's where the piece of work needs to be done, not, not really to include it within the, the current draft care and support bill. Thanks very much indeed, uh, Joe, for joining us on carersworldradio.com. Well, there we go, an interesting conversation in terms of perhaps the refinement that is required is very much in the area of the Children's Act as opposed to the work done in the draft care and support bill from Joe Blot there. Uh, do remember, this is Carers World Radio. We are uh, currently in the middle of a series of four programmes, uh, four special programmes discussing the draft care and support bill with particular regard to how this affects young carers and adult parent carers. Um, we are in the... We've just gone through the third programme of four. We're going to be here again next week. Um, that will be Thursday the 11th of October at 7 o'clock. Not GMT, it's still British summertime. Uh, so that will be um, uh, at 7 o'clock British summertime. Uh, if you still want to listen to us, please do so. We're going to be having a great programme next week. We will be having on Joe Bangs, John Bangs again uh, from Surrey County Council. We're also going to have um, the uh, Association of Directors, uh, Director of Children. Children's Services. We've got uh, the former Care Services Minister Paul Burstow MP and we will be having hopefully conversations with representatives from the Department of Education and the Department of Health. We can't be specific about who that is yet. That That is yet to be um, to come clear but we have got uh, some inroads into those departments and we hope to have some commentary from then so let's hope that joe Bolt blot has it right that in fact we're looking at a refinement in the part of the children's act in order to cover young carers um and that will do the job uh, let's hope so Thanks to our contributors on this edition, uh, this Young Carers Special. Our contributors, Louise and Russell, both themselves Young Carers, Maggie Atkinson, Child Commission, Children's Commissioner rather, for England, Belinda Hollow from Childline, Simon Sharples, Vice Principal of Woking High School, John Langs from Surrey County Council, and Joe Blott uh, from the Association of Directors of Adult Social Services. For this edition of the programme, thank you too to the Carers World Radio team, producer, director Ron Critcher, uh, chat room supervisor Jim Coombs, and a particular thank you for the studio facilities this week, care kindly provided by Carers Support Woking. As Patricia said, see you next week, Thursday the 11th of October, 7pm UK time, from me, Tom Magna, and from Patricia Mitchell. Good night, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you're listening to Carers World Radio, radio with a purpose. <laughs>